All right, here at No Reserve, we have our uh, super hard to find 1994 F-150. It's an XLT regular cab short bed, so it's got the six and a half foot bed, but it's got the uh, really sought after and hard to find uh, 300 inline six cylinder with a five speed manual transmission, but it also has the XLT package, AC, tilt, power windows, locks, all that stuff. A lot of the a lot of the 300 six cylinder and five speed trucks are just base model and most of the time our regular cab long bed two wheel drives. Um, has just over 93,000 miles. Always been in Washington state. All original paint and body, no accidents, no paint work, no panel adjustments. Um, has excellent maintenance history on Carfax that was done at, at a dealership. So it's a beautiful truck. It's like a blood red. It's not the real bright metallic red. It's more of, I think it's called Vermilion Clear Coat, but I'll look it up and put it in the ad. But it's a more of a, it's not a maroon, it's just a really crisp, really nice, beautiful blood red. So I'll get in here, it's really, you know, about as nice as you can get. I mean, it's got beautiful color and the lights, really nice and clear, uh, headlights and corners, um, the, the amber and... Uh, tail lights and the front turn signals are in nice condition good color no fogging or condensation really nice chrome has a deep mirror like reflection no dents or dings in the bumper all the moldings still nice and black you have a little bit of sun fading in the inserts here but other than that it's really nice uh, it's had a bug guard on it, I think since new and unfortunately it looks like maybe they had the bug guard set back too far and it had a little bit of paint wear right there and on the edge over here. So that's pretty common when people do bras or um, bug guards. But you can see there's no clear coat lifting. A lot of times you'll get clear coat or paint lifting on this. The wind will bounce off this area and this area, but you can just see the paint's in beautiful condition. It's got a little mark in the paint there, but you can't feel it, so I'm sure if you got some compound, um, and like a buffer or something to come right out. There's a little chip in the paint there. Uh, the paint's really reflective, so like you can see it's reflecting the cement. And in some of the pictures, those aren't rock chips. That's just the reflection of the, uh, the pebbles in the black top. But uh, I'll show you here, there's uh, a couple little stone chips here, a little chip there. Take you along here, I mean, you got just a couple of chips there. Usually this paint's just all worn. You got a chip there. You got a little pattern of chipping there. You got a chip there. Really nice smooth paint. You got a chip there. I mean, all these are really tiny, like a tip of a pencil lead. You know, you do have some chips right in here. That's the biggest one. Got one there. A slight, like, kind of like surface scratch, but you can't feel it with your nail. It doesn't, it's not into the paint. Behind the gas door is really nice and clean. Uh, there's no side loading scratches or anything, just nice crisp factory decals. You can't get these decals anymore. Uh, so it's always quite nice to see the original paint, original decals. Really thin scratch. Little, a couple little tiny scratches there. But again, no side loading scratches or dents. It's got these black caps. I think I had a toolbox at one point. Um, or maybe a canopy, but there's a little wear in the paint there. And some wear here, but the bulkhead's nice and straight. You know, no paint lifting, no stress cracks. The roof's in really nice shape. Got a little mark in the paint there. Now the window felts on the outside do have some drying, but the nice thing is you can go to eBay or LMC truck. Um, they're about 50 bucks for a set of four that goes inside and outside. Got a chip right there in the door. Little entry scratching around the key. You can see there, it's really hard to see this stuff, but, and there's a little bit of pitting in the top of the door handle. See if I can get it. It's really tough to see, but there is some there. I'll bring you on the side. So they got the polished aluminum alcohol wheels. They're in excellent condition, but for some reason the driver's side, front and rear, there is a little bit in the clear coat of the wheels. There is a little bit of uh, kind of the white delaminating, but just these tiny little stars. But the red is still nice and bright. The chrome is really nice and deep. Take it to the back here. The top of the tailgates were really nice. You know, a couple little scratches, little chips, a little scratch, a little scratch. But again, in really nice shape. And the tail lights, nice and smooth, no cracks or condensation. 
bought on the tailgate. Uh, looks like maybe they had something on the tailgate and opened it up and it scratched this little area here. Some little thin rubbing marks. Uh, no cracks in the plastic or anything, but there is like some little smudge rub marks right here. Um, then you come over the corner and there's some chipping right here and a little scratch right here. So it's got uh, rear airbags. Um, I'll show you. The guy pretty much all he used it for, the bed at least is all he used it for, was he had a little camper and uh, so it's got the wiring for it and everything. Um, but it doesn't have a trailer package. I mean, never hauled a load. You look at the bumper, and the chrome is just in excellent condition. It's got a little hole. The fills for the airbags are right there, so they're nicely done. Didn't drill through the the, the uh, bumper or anything. Rubber trim's in nice shape. A little bit of scuffing here. But the inside of the bed is amazing. I mean, it's never hauled any gravel. I mean, all you have is a little bit of rubbing on the bottom of the ribs from when uh, he put his, his little camper in there. And it's slightly dented the top right here. You know, kind of the common camper deals. And you'll see it kind of dented um, the same spot, the inside of the uh, fender well there. But other than that, I mean, look at the paint on the sides is just unreal, you know? It's just amazing. All this, all the anodized aluminums and everything are still nice and bright. You know, a lot of times these are missing, but look at how nice the black is on this divider piece. And that looks like it's barely ever even been touched. There's little things like that. You know, the finish on these is nice and bright. I mean, look how shiny that is. That's the cool thing about these uh, original paint trucks with the low miles. I mean, all the little stuff like that when I buy them is, I mean, even look at the screws. It's just killer. Tailgate opens and closes real nice. A little bit scratching there. And really nice. I mean, you're just seeing reflections, no chips or scratches. A tiny little scratch there. It's got a little mark on the paint there, but it's it's on top of it, so you could probably get that off, like the other side. Small chips there. I mean, they're super small, so. Underside's in excellent condition. There's plenty of underside photos. And again, you have about a couple little chips. Chip there, chip there. Very slight scratch. I mean, this stuff's real hard to see, but I don't want any surprise for you guys. But they got the Alcoa wheels on this side are in excellent condition. Got the manual hubs. Got a little bit of chipping there. Got a little chip there. Kind of, kind of a little chip there. Kind of just chipped the clear coat a little bit, but that's about it. A little chip there. And then you have pretty much really nice condition. You got chip there from the tires kicking them up. There's a chip. Again, you got the kind of what dry rotting, if you want to call it that. It's got the small sport mirrors. And then when these get dry on both sides, did scratch the uh, windows in a little bit. You'll see some, the right angle, you'll see some scratching. But uh, luckily nowadays they do make some polish for that. In the paint and the door jams. I mean, you can see the hinge is still nice and shiny. No rust anywhere. Nice paint in the door hinges. No stress cracks. I mean, just hardly any injury wear. It did have some steps on there at one point. The hoop style aluminum steps, which are really cheap if you want to get a set. The dash is pretty much perfect. One little imperfection on the driver's side, I'll show you. Nice carpet, you know, it's factory gray. It has floor mats, but I want to take them out so you can see the carpet underneath, not hiding any holes or anything. There's a couple little darker areas, but, you know, creeping on 23 years is an amazing condition. Seats just perfect. Non-smoker, no pets, no smells. Nice headliner without any sag. It's got a really nice little CD player. It's got, you can hook your iPod up to it. But also, this is a, look at that. The wiper arms just look beautiful. You know, nice gaps. Well, one area I did forget, it looks like um, on these Fords, sometimes the hood hinges will get hyperextended. Um, there is, it's just really slight. You can slightly see it. So maybe a paintless dent guy could iron that out for you, but um, it's another one of those things that most people won't notice. The front glass isn't original. All the other glass is original, so the front windshield's been replaced at some point. You know, no chips or cracks. out 
really nice seat, no breakdown. You can just see it's been used, but there's no breakdown or holes or anything on the sides. Got the Vin decal. You guys just see hardly any entry wear. It's just right there. Door panel doesn't have any cracks. Oh, I'll take you to the top here. Uh, both of the metal um, grates on the, on the speakers are a little bit discolored, but and they later went to plastic, that's kind of why. Uh, only break down the materials right here on the steering wheel, but otherwise it's really nice and tight. The steering wheel's in great shape, actually. A lot of times they're pulled out. And there's a little mark in the top of the dash. That was the only one I was talking about. But other than that, all the trims are real nice. Pedals are real nice. You know, five-speed manual. It's got the cup holder option. I mean, it's a really cool option truck. I mean, it's people laugh, but, you know, cup holder was an option. Um... Trying to think of anything else on the inside. I think there's, oh, there is one little mark on the seat right there. It's not really a hole. It's kind of just pushed in the material a little bit. But other than that, interior is pretty much just amazing condition. The hood pops open nice and easy. Hood light works. The really clean engine bay. You can see none of the bolts have been messed with on the fenders looks like maybe probably on the hood hinge they have no may I think this hood hinge may have been replaced or at least worked on um, but you can see the hood isn't kinked or anything like that so it's got the 300 six cylinder that's just a killer motor really torquey quiet smooth running motor and we'll do a driving video and a cold running video or a cold start video again no bolts have touched that so there's plenty of underside photos. We're gonna let it warm up and take it for a uh, driving video. So again, this 94 regular cab short bed 4x4. Uh, it's going at no reserve with just 93,000 miles.